Hello and welcome back to the Let's Play world for the last ever time. I have been working on finishing up the last few things on this mega base and I have a couple more things to finish up together with you and then we will also take a look around this base and I will tell you more about my future plans for this channel. So there are some details that I've added like this carpet, just finishing touches around inside in the hallways and things, replacing all of the torches for soul lanterns or even soul torches, just no regular torches around. This hallway was looking a little bit empty, it's quite a big room so I put in a aquarium here for the axolotls that I have been holding on to for a really long time and just never got around to building them anywhere to live so now they have got somewhere to live inside the castle and it just sort of fills up this space a bit as well and if we come out over here across the bridge we have this other tower which I hadn't done on camera but this ended up being quite similar to some of the other rooms in the castle so I didn't want to just repeat myself. This tower is for more bedrooms but for the teachers instead of for the students like we did before and so they're fairly similar to all of the student rooms that we worked on in a couple of episodes ago over in the other main building but they have um, a bigger room, a bigger bed and yeah just slightly different but mostly the same and then I have also added some details out on the balconies just a couple of sort of flower pots and some lighting underneath to keep them lit up and mob proof and yeah just a bunch of finishing touches really to some of the interiors of the castle. Now there are still a couple of things left to do which we're going to do together and they both involve some little mobs that we have in our castle. So firstly we have these two cats and they hadn't had names this whole time so I have got some name tags for them and we're going to finally name our two castle cats. We have got Midnight and Luna and there they are our little protectors of the castle in their in their prime position up on this windowsill looking out over the land and keeping an eye on everyone's dinner. And the other thing that I did is I let the alleys loose in the castle. There they are. And I really love how they look just sort of floating around in the castle like this. I sort of spread them out around various different areas. And I think that that looks, it just adds some movement and some life to the castle. So I thought maybe we could just duplicate a few of them up a little bit so that we have a few more floating around the castle. So I have got myself a jukebox and a music disc and some amethyst and I'm pretty sure that's everything that we need. I think you have to just play the music and then give them an amethyst shard. Do you want to come and dance? Are you gonna, are you dancing? Yes. Okay. <gasps> there we go. There's an extra one. There we go. Yeah! And that is the castle fully, finally completed inside and outside. Let's take a look around at all of the interiors that we've been building as we talk about what is coming up next. As I said at the beginning of the episode, this is going to be the last episode in this series and the last episode in this Minecraft world. I started playing in this world almost an entire year ago and we are now on day 1878 and we have built so many things. This was my first ever series that I started making on YouTube and I feel like I have learned so much over the process of making this series. And I am so grateful for all of your support 
to everyone who has watched, liked, commented or subscribed. You have all been so inspiring to me to keep me going with this series and in this world and keep pushing myself to do bigger and better things. I definitely had a lot of plans that I didn't end up getting to throughout the course of this series and that is definitely something that I have also learnt in the last almost year that I've been doing this. I have so many ideas and I have really learnt a lot more about how long these things actually take to build and I'm very sad that I didn't get to build all of the things that I had planned to build in this world. But that has also been super helpful to learn and hopefully continue to use in future content as well. And as for future content, the 1.20 update is now officially released and I am super excited to play with all of the new things in the new update. I would love to hear what you are all most excited for in the 1.20 update. And if there is anything that you would like to see me do in a new 1.20 survival let's play series, which is what we will be starting very, very soon on this channel. We did already do a world tour a few episodes ago of all of the details of the things that I had built before this castle. And hopefully I've just given you a good tour of all of the interior that we have done on this mega base project. I am really excited for 1.20 and to start a brand new series in the brand new update and do all of the beginning things again. I'm kind of looking forward to getting to do those because we haven't done them for almost a whole year which is definitely way longer than I've ever gone without starting a new world before. So. I am really excited for the new series that's going to be coming after this one, even though I am a little bit sad that this series is ending. But for now, I'm going to leave you with a few shots of some of my favourite parts of this world, and I would love to hear what your favourite parts were if you have one. Thank you all for watching this finale episode. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I really hope to see you again soon in the new series. Goodbye!